But like we gonna get into the real when y'all come up over here, man. So put your big boy pants on when you come over there, folks. For real. Put your big boy pants on and we gonna get it to it straight like that, folks. But definitely hit that like button for the boy if you here for a good time, not a long time. You ain't here to stay. Hit that like button, man. Yo, value Christ over your life, gang. What's good, man? <laughs> um, put y'all, I hope y'all, not put it, I hope y'all already got it on. Y'all big boy pants. Because I want to have a conversation with y'all, and we might be going live today. I want to talk about Money Mind. I want to talk about uh, Deion Sanders. I want to talk about some more things that's happening in the world. So, you know, uh, if we don't do it today, we're going to do it tomorrow because I don't want to just be on there talking like I'm normally doing, just going, 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 going. I want us to look at some things, and then we're going to talk about it together. You know, we're going to talk about some things together. Some things we don't need to look at, something like the Money Mind situation. Or the situation that's at hand right now, Deion Sanders. But yeah, man, let's get right into it. Definitely hit the like button if you don't got your notifications turned on, man. Turn them on. I'm y'all brother, bro. And and if you believe in Christ, I'm your brother in Christ. And if not, I am trying to be a lead, a, 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 a entry point for you to believe in what they are taking you to believe. You know, taking away from us. Ripping out of our beliefs and so many people are like, oh, bro, this Deion Sanders, why you talking? Boy, this is the most important thing to be talked about. And if you don't think so, sorry that you are deceived, but you need to unbreak that spirit that's being attached to you saying Christ don't matter. And what I'm saying right now don't matter. This is truly the only thing that matters. But yeah, man, Deion Sanders. I've been seeing multiple people uh, 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 come out and uh, where one, I don't know if y'all saw what I did with the video, this video right here is must be the money. Like that's all these people are ran by money, fuels everything of their joy. Uh, Deion Sanders, one man, I get all y'all keep, it, it, this is what happened. And that's why I'm here because you got so many idol worshipers and they see nothing wrong with what Deion Sanders did. And truthfully, I know HBCUs ain't even really HBC. They ain't historical black nothing. Uh, these are funded by white men. But yeah, so I'm going to play the game with y'all just to break some things down. But because truthfully, there's more that need to be talked about on this subject. But we're going to just keep it at this point. Deion Sanders meant more than uh, 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 what money could buy for what y'all thought he meant at HBCU. The fact that he just up and left shows y'all that he really had no purpose. Uh, it wasn't no purpose to get the kids to believe in him. It was all a scheme. He has the power, the gift of gab. He can. He sounds good. He's very passionate behind his work, but it's clearly all money. And it and it and it's weird to me because Deion Sanders is already rich, and it's like rich people just clearly just continuously want to get rich, and people don't see nothing. Wrong in it because, they, oh, he going to get better his life and he better. And it's like, dude, what he was doing at that HBCU college was bigger than money. You know, some people can't get into those bigger schools. It's easier to get into a historical black college and be around someone as prominent and as, you know, highly favored in this world as he is with the knowledge that he has and the connections. So, you know, him taking that to uh, Colorado University, like what? Like, it just shows you, and uh, myself, I already knew things like this. They happen frequently. P.J. Fleck, if anybody who's familiar with Minnesota football, I had the same thing done, not done with me, but I, like, it was on my spirit that I knew P.J. Fleck would have left because the, these people, they come in, they seem very, but they understand everybody's main goal is to go up. People ain't doing this for the people. People ain't doing this for no love. They main goal is to go up. They will say anything to you to get you to commit to them. And then once something comes that is better than what is at front of them, they're going to be gone. And they'll look at you crazy if you was to decommit. Or you feel me? And I'm talking about decommit in terms of football. You commit and then decommit. But yeah, I think that it's weird. How do y'all feel? And um, idol worshipers miss me with all being a Deion Sanders is already rich. Uh, really can't get no richer. So uh, it's just poor folks. We like to make excuses for those who we feel an emotional way about. And that is the beginning to our end because we see no wrong in our idols. We see no wrong in those that we see on TV. We don't even understand why those who are on mainstream media are actually on mainstream media. We think that they're there because they, they earned it. No, they're there. Be they earned it. All right. But it, it ain't due to how y'all feel like they earned it. These people ain't who y'all think they are. 
Remember the story of the wheats and the tares. They might look like you. They might uh, um, truthfully uh, um, speak and talk and, and, and sound good like you. But when the, when you know when the pressure is on, you see. I feel like it would have been more meaningful as a black man who went to an HBCU to try to make a point and make it. And I told my friends this, and they was like, "You think Dion gonna stay? No, stop it." People be flawed, bro. They, they, everybody be lying. They make it seem like they truly be for the people. They make it seem like they this, they that, bro. But in the end, it's about a bag. It ain't about Christ. It ain't about God. It's about a bag. If that man was truly on Christ's side, he wouldn't have been chasing no bag. If he knew Christ and he was reading Christ's word, he would have stayed there and he would have kept feeding those kids who was literally on a lesser totem pole in life. But y'all, that's how y'all know, man. And then people going to say, how you know, bro, I know because I read the word. You don't because you won't read the word. The love of Christ cannot harbor and lay and, and dwell in you if you feel as though uh, uh, what I'm saying ain't real. Like, this is real. And y'all need to understand that. Like, this is where we need to be at mentally. Looking at these celebrities, looking at all of these people who have a platform and truthfully debunking, are they for the people who God, what God do they serve? Man, wake up and stop thinking that everybody who make you feel good because they can speak. It's for you. If these men ain't preaching, I don't care what they say about a Jew. Boy, lay a scripture on me. Can you please say say a scripture? Everybody confess it with their mouth, but y'all must not forget what Christ said. Ye hypocrites, I see what you do with your mouth. How you honor me with your mouth. That ain't enough. If it ain't enough for Christ, it shouldn't be enough for y'all. But yeah, as followers of Christ and not to make him no religion. He's no religion. He's salvation. So y'all with religions understand that Christ and I ain't no Christian. I follow his way, but boy, don't I'm a follower of the way. You hear me? I keep the uh, uh the the commandments in the way of his father. That's what I do. But yeah, for those who ain't seeking this knowledge, they won't know they're gonna be battled. The same people that say that they for Christ gonna be the same people that's actually we battling because they not reading the word and they gonna speak from a, a man's heart, and a man's heart is a fool. Value Christ over your life because he going to teach you what life really is. We going to.